the teams in the subcontinent are gearing up to play the Asia Cup. Who is your predicted winner for the tournament and why? <laughs> okay, so my predicted winner is, I think, India. They're just so strong. India is so strong across the board. And depending on what the conditions are, they can just adapt to most conditions. And it's always a huge game in Europe, and Pakistan, but especially after the last T20 World Cup where Pakistan, for the first time in 13 games in a World Cup, were able to actually win and dominate that game, winning by 10 wickets. Take it in, Pakistan fans. You've waited a long, long time for this moment. Take it all in. Finally, you've beaten India in a World Cup game. That first game in particular is going to be very special watch because Pakistan have got the full belief now that they can beat this Indian team. So... Um, so I think really whoever wins that game is going to go on and, and win the win the Asia Cup. I've just got a feeling India, India have just got such, especially with their batting, they've got so much firepower all the way through their batting order. So it's going to be hard to be able to contain. Virat Kohli fans are also looking forward to him playing the Asia Cup because he's been on a month-long break from international cricket. Do you think that he can return to form in this tournament? Oh, Virat certainly can. <laughs> he's, he's way too good to, to not just get back into that groove again. Uh, and, and having time off for him certainly will just be able to regenerate mentally, physically, just be able to get away from the, for the game of cricket. You could, you could just see that there was this, um, that his energy was just a bit sapped, even during, the, even during the IPL, you could tell. And no matter how much he tried, and you could see, as always, he's, he was up and about. But you'd see there was something just, the light was out a tiny bit. Um, and this month that he's had off cricket will certainly just you know, make sure that light's shining very bright going to this um, Asia Cup knowing that there's the, the, the T20 World Cup in Australia coming up very soon as well. So when you were able to have a break, and because the Indian cricketers in particular play so much cricket, um, for Virat to be able to have some time off, and especially a month, that's just going to regenerate everything that he needs to, um, to be able to just take stock of what's happened, freshen up mentally and physically. In your experience, a break from international cricket, does it help or hurt a player? A break when you're playing so much helps helps a lot uh, when when you've had a bit of time when you've had a bit of time off and and it's longer than probably like a month to ma a month then you start to sort of your skills you can feel your skills start to just fall away a little bit so you need a little bit of time to just get your get your batting and bowling exactly where you need to but a month is just about the right time where you can actually have a break freshen up and feel like you don't really lose your rhythm and your skill too much at all so um, I found any time pushing past six weeks off, then, then it takes a bit more time to sort of get in the groove again. But um, as an international cricketer, when you're playing all year round, you've got to make the most of your breaks because um, you do need to freshen up physically and mentally to be ready to go to be able to take on the challenges. Otherwise, you can just feel like your energy sapped all the time. It's really hard to be able to sort of get your game up to, to playing. Again.